Sana'a, Yemen November 15, 2017, extreme hunger and disease are killing an estimated 130 children in Yemen every day. A continuing blockade by the Saudi Arabia coalition on the country's northern ports of entry is likely to increase the death toll further, past the projected 50,000 children expected to die this year. Point one, almost 400,000 children will need treatment for severe acute malnutrition in Yemen this year. Two, but aid agencies are struggling to reach them all amid chronic funding shortfalls. Three, the largest cholera outbreak in modern history, and obstructions to supplies of food and aid. Without urgent, unhindered access for humanitarian organizations and an increase in funding, Save the Children is warning half of these children will most likely go without treatment. Point four, based on the available evidence, if left untreated approximately 2,030% of children with severe acute malnutrition will die each year. Even before this latest blockade, based on this calculation Yemen would expect to see about 50,000 malnourished children under the age of 5 die from hunger or disease this year, an average of 130 a day, or one child every 10 minutes. Access for aid workers and commercial supplies was already challenging across Yemen because of obstructions by all warring parties. Now, the decision to block access entirely to the key entry points of Sana'a Airport and the ports of Hodeida and Salif puts thousands more children at risk. Already soaring, prices of food and fuel have spiraled in just a few days, further eroding the limited capability of humanitarian organizations to deliver life-saving aid. There is no viable alternative to these ports for bringing in the amount of food, medicine and other relief supplies needed in some of the areas of Yemen worst hit by the hunger crisis. Tez and Hodita governorates are facing the most serious effects of the hunger crisis, with a staggering 10,000 children predicted to die this year in each region. Table 1 Severe acute malnutrition is the most extreme and dangerous form of undernutrition. Symptoms include jutting ribs and loose skin with visible wasting of body tissue, or swelling in the ankles, feet and belly as blood vessels leak fluid under the skin. Malnourished children also have substantially reduced immune system function and are many times more likely to contract and die from diseases like cholera and pneumonia than healthy children. Point five Tamer Carolos, Save the Children's Yemen country director, said, These deaths are as senseless as they are preventable. They mean more than a hundred mothers grieving for the death of a child, day after day. Save the Children currently has five shipping containers of life-saving food for sick and malnourished children stuck in Aden because of road closures. Our staff cannot reach communities to provide life-saving care and much-needed supplies and relief workers cannot enter the country. Essential medicines, fuel and food stocks could start running out in a matter of weeks. It's utterly unacceptable to let children die of neglect and a lack of political will. Without urgent action the future looks bleak. Unless the blockade is lifted immediately more children will die. War has already destroyed public services and created the world's biggest humanitarian crisis. It is unconscionable to punish Yemen's children by restricting access to parts of the country, George Graham, Save the Children's Director of Conflict Humanitarian Policy, Advocacy Campaigns, said, The UK's strategic relationship with Saudi Arabia means it can play an influential role in safeguarding the lives of children caught up in this brutal war. With the fighting showing no signs of easing, we must ensure children and their families have access to life-saving aid by pressing all parties to guarantee unimpeded humanitarian access and lifting any restrictions on imports of commercial supplies. Table 1 Untreated Cases of Severe Acute Malnutrition SAM by Governorate Governorate Total SAM Case Load for 2017 SAM Cases Treated coverage rate untreated SAM cases deaths from untreated SAM TAS 58,929 11,456 26% 43,655 10,914 Hodi to 94,880 40,511 57% 40,865 10,216 Haja 31,389 10,739 46% 17,074,267 Saada 24,318 6,261 34% 15,973,992 Damar 29,428 11,045 50% 14,701 3,675 Shows worst 5 of Yemen's 22 governorates for estimated deaths from untreated SAM. Yemen Nutrition Cluster Estimate for 2017. Children 659 months. Yemen Nutrition Cluster Monthly Update, September Figures to September 31st Reflects percentage of SAM cases currently being reached by humanitarian organizations. Yemen Nutrition Cluster Monthly Update, September Estimated number of children with SAM left untreated in 2017 at current coverage rate. 
based on a mortality rate for untreated SAM cases of 25%. Notes to editors This theta was calculated before the latest blockade was imposed on November 6 by the Sadild coalition, severely restricting the delivery of humanitarian supplies to Yemen. We estimate our food and medicine stocks will run out in the next 8 to 12 weeks. Unless the blockade is lifted soon more children could perish. The Yemen Nutrition Cluster has estimated a nationwide severe acute malnutrition SAM caseload of 385,842 children aged 659 months in 2017. The immediate financial requirements for the UN's World Food Program to address the food insecurity in Yemen amounts to $1.16 billion. As of 26 September, the requirements were just under 50% funded until the end of 2017. For the coming six months through March 2018, WFP is facing a funding shortfall of $390 million. See here for more information. As of September 31st, the nutrition cluster had reached 38% of the children estimated to need treatment for SAM in 2017, with a coverage rate of 50.52% for the months of January to September. If these coverage rates remain unchanged 190,927 severely malnourished children will have gone without treatment this year. See here for more information. Save the Children has previously warned of the deadly link between hunger and cholera, with malnourished children at least three times more likely to die from diarrheal diseases. Full case study including stills and bro available here https story central .save youth pages search .php question mark search exclamation mark collection 5 1998 k491b1369 e save the children has spokespeople available in London and Yemen. For more information or to arrange an interview kindly contact Antonia Rupale Rupal at save the children .uk 4478559575737.